In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, non-biostable sequential circuits. So, uh, uh, first we are going to discuss about uh, uh, monostable sequential circuits and uh, A-stable sequ sequential circuits in this video. Because uh, the schema trigger uh, which we have already discussed in another video. So, first uh, let's go for the monostable sequence is acute so this uh, mono stable sequence is acute uh, the mono represent uh, only one stable state okay so the another one is uh, uh, quasi stable state okay so this uh, mono stable uh, circuit which will generate a, a pulse of uh, a predetermined width every time the uh, this quasin circuit is triggered by a pulse or transition event. So, this circuit is called as a uh, one shot circuit. Here, uh, a trigger event which is either a, a signal transition or a pulse uh, which will cause the uh, circuit to go uh, temporarily into an another quasi stable state. So, this means uh, uh, it eventually returned to its uh, original state after a time period determined by this uh, circuit parameter. Okay, so uh, here it uses a simply a delay element to control the duration of the pulses. So, this is a block diagram of the monostable sequence circuits. It consists of a delay uh, and, uh, and a pulse, okay, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, input signal uh, and there is, you can see there is a transition, the input signal from 0 to 1, uh, which will be uh, XORed with the uh, these two inputs, both the inputs are uh, or XR and uh, you are getting the output. So, whenever uh, the both the signals are uh, identical, the XR gate will produce this uh, zero output. So, if there is any change means uh, it will produce this uh, one. Okay. So, here you can see uh, uh, you have a delay circuits which consists of a chain of basic gates or an RC network. It can be formed by using this one. Okay, so we can see uh, there is a transition in the input and the delay element causes the XOR gate input to differ and the output goes as high. Okay, if you see the A and B, the A and B is differed by uh, the time period TD. So, due to that, uh, during that time period, uh, you will get the output as 1. So, which will form a, a pulse the pulse which is the length is uh, td okay so after this delay time uh, the this uh, disruption is removed and the output goes low again okay so uh, based on the input transition and the delay element you are getting this type of pulses okay so Next, uh, we will discuss about the uh, A-stable uh, circuits. Okay, this uh, A-stable means it has no stable state. Okay, so it consists of uh, two quasi-stable state. So, this, uh, so it will oscillate back and forth between these two uh, quasi-state with uh, the period is determined by the delay, power circuit, etc. Okay. So, this circuit is used as a on-sheet generation clock signal. Okay, so example for this circuit is a ring oscillator. So, we can see this is a block diagram of the uh, ring oscillator. So, here uh, you can see uh, odd number of inverters are connected. Okay, so the output of the third inverter is connected to the input of the first inverter. So, the time period. Uh, is equal to 
டூ இன்ட்டு டிபி இன்ட்டு என் வேர் என் ரெப்ரஸன்ட் நம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் இன்வெர்டர்ஸ் அண்டு டிபி ரெப்ரஸன்ட் த பொப்புகேஷன் டிலே ஆஃப் தி ஈச் இன்வெர்டர் ஸோ லிங்வாஸ்டிட் இஸ் கம்போஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கேஸ்கேடட் இன்வெர்டர் விச் ப்ரொடியூசஸ் அ வே ஃபார்ம் வித் அ ஃபிக்ஸ்டு ஆசேட்டிங் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி விச் இஸ் டிட்டர்மைண்ட் பை அ டிலே ஆஃப் அண்ட் இன்வெர்டர் in cmos process so in order to uh, control the frequency of the oscillator uh and we, we can see the example of vco so because uh, uh the one of the applications of the um this uh controlling the frequency is nothing but uh, uh voltage control oscillator so here the oscillation frequency is a function of control voltage voltage the standard ring oscillator is converted into a vco by replacing the inverter into a current star inverter so this is the structure of the inverter it is replaced by a uh, current star inverter by adding a uh, m2 and m3 transistor in series with uh, p mos and the n mos here the maximum discharge current of this inverter is limited by adding an this extra device so these extra uh, devices is controlled by a analog control voltage v control which determines the available discharge current so if i decrease uh, v control it will decrease my discharge current thereby it will uh, increases the propagation delay tphl and tplh because we know that i is inversely proportional to the time so if the since the time and the frequency is inversely proportional decreasing in the time increases the frequency so this ability to alter the propagation delay per stage allows us to control the frequency of the ring structure so this v control value is depend on the feedback technique we uses the uh, what we uses okay so these can current star inverter is suffer from slow fault time at its output so this will cause a short circuit current to avoid this output uh, it is connected to a schematic and an extra inverter is needed at the end of the um, this inverter to ensure the uh, structure oscillate 